One of the sneak peeks parade cars get this week is a look at our restoration car. PCA has bought a 911. We're going to restore it and raffle it off next year at the Savannah Parade in 2011. I'm here with Jochen Bader, who's manager of Porsche Restorations in Germany. And he's going to give us a little talk about how he found this car and how they're going to transform it into its original beauty. Uh, Jochen, what brought you this car, which in, upon initial look is kind of scary, but obviously you saw something, a jewel in the rough when you uh, decided this was the car to restore. Yeah, the, the car looks quite ugly, but <clears throat> it is a jewel and we love to restore this car. We found the car in Los Angeles on eBay and we just view the pictures and I said okay this is it and we bought the car and I realized there are some some different things on the car like the fender and the rear wing etc <clears throat> but I I see the the chassis down to bare metal and I realized this car is perfect for the restoration for our restoration workshop and also to raffle the car next year because we have a 2.4 MFI engine, interesting and strong engine, and also the silver outside painting and the black interior, it will be fit perfectly, and we're looking forward to restore the car. So it's gonna be a silver outside, right now it's more of a California primer, I guess you could call it. Um, obviously these wheels, which uh, are a mismatched set of center line and uh, maybe one Porsche wheel, will go back, will it be using a Fuchs wheels or steel wheels? Fuchs wheels. Okay, so it goes to the Fuchs wheels. It will be restored to a, uh, as a U.S. car or a European car? We restore the car through the Cardex information. So it will be an uh, original car as the car leaves the factory 73. Now, how much of what we see here will you actually utilize uh, from this car? Uh, <clears throat> so we take the fenders, everything off. We depart everything, the harness take all the things out and then we dip the car into acid, take the primer and the filler and the paint, everything off, and then we start to rebuild the car from the base. We have the original chicks in our workshop, so we are able to do everything, uh, I think, better than new. Uh, how about rust proofing? Does it remain as it was back then, or is there any rust proofing that you do to the car this time around? Yes, uh, so we, we opened the rocker panels to check the rust inside and <coughs> then after after we repair the whole body shell we put the car into a cataphoretic bath and dip the car and so we have the complete car coated and this is the best rust protection and I will be I will say better than you. So one of the things we're gonna do with the uh, Porsche restoration Porsche Classic is we're going to be documenting the restoration on the web page uh, through blogs and uh, for our videos and panorama, of course, uh, as it transforms once again into this, from a jewel in the rough to a true jewel. And when it's complete, we were talking before, uh, we get this beautiful pamphlet that uh, every owner gets, and maybe you can, we can show the camera here of uh, the special, uh, get this little plaque here, right? Tell us what that is. So this is a batch, and we mount this batch in the, in the trunk normally, right next to the VIN number plate. And that, that batch shows that the car is factory restored with original VIN number and also my signature. And what's inside this uh, inside beautiful this case? <coughs> this is uh, our map extra. So there's a restoration book in it. And this book is, is written for the complete restoration of the car. So we show the work one and all the work we do on the car with every different parts and areas like suspension, engine, transmission, and the, I always say the bottleneck because the, the body is always the, the most important thing for us. We need around 300 to 600 hours depending on the condition of the car. So this is the, the main part of the whole restoration. Also the completely electricity, the harness, and the painting. And how many um, technicians do you have working in your shop? Around 20. Wow, and uh, all the parts of, I, I would imagine, would be uh, Porsche parts, right? Right. There's surely some parts, they're not available on stock. And in that case, we have to search aftermarket or from colleagues or 
some people outside and we buy uh, these parts and overhaul them and so we fit the car so we do it we do this kind of car I think 10 to 15 per year so it's not not a problem for us so I can truly say this car is no problem for us to restore and how many hours would you imagine this is gonna be into this restoration around 1200 to 1400 hours but it sounds like it's going to come out better than it was in 1973, I would imagine. Definitely, definitely. I promise. So there you go. Uh, that's a sneak peek into uh, this raffle car that you're going to be seeing during the year. It's in the U.S. now, but after the parade, it takes a quick uh, boat ride over to Germany, and it begins its transformation into a beauty.